All right, let's look at some, uh, well, this is going to be a lot of fun, uh, multiple product break-even analysis. Now, um, I just want to say one thing really quickly. Um, you may encounter a question where you have multiple product, uh, and it's not a break-even analysis question. They've added the one step of target profit. Um, if that happens... Um, and you, you have that type of a question. When we get to the uh, how to do this the right way, I'll tell you about that additional uh, step that you could take. Uh, but we're we're going. Most of the questions that deal with this are, I say most like as if I know, uh, are probably break-even analysis type questions. So, you know, we've got this question here, and we've got three different products. We've got, let's see here now, this is really original. We've got products A, B, and C. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, for this company called, what is it? Stafford Company. There are three products. All right, and so we have the unit selling price here, the uh, variable cost per unit of each of these products, and they've been so kind as to provide for us the unit contribution amount because heaven forbid we should have to subtract four from six or anything like that. All right, so additional information says with a monthly fixed cost of 143,000, the company sells two units of A for each unit of B and three units of B for each unit of C. Okay, well, that's a bit of a, you know, th this right here is, is going to cause all kinds of problems, I have a feeling. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. It says determine the unit sales of product A, A. Uh, let's see here now. At the monthly break-even point. Okay, so we can certainly do that. What This is what we're going to need to do. I'm going to tell you what we're going to need to do. What we're going to do is, well, we're going to do a couple of things, but we're going to come up with something called a weighted contribution margin per unit. Okay? So, so we're going to be toggling back and forth between a piece of paper and the current screen. Um... But this can be this can be a little bit difficult to get our mind wrapped around. So we're going to go backwards here. You're like, okay, it was hard. Now we're going to go backwards. Yeah, we're going to go backwards. Okay, so think about this now. It looks like if we read through this, hopefully we can agree that we are selling by far the least of product C. See, it says for each one of C, there's that word, one, for each one unit of C, we're selling three units of B, okay? And then for each unit of B, we're selling two uh, of product A, okay? So um, let's see here now. I've got this here on the uh, slide uh, or on the screen. So I'm going to plot... the number one for product C. And if we recall, the scenario said that they're going to sell, what they do? They said three units of B for every unit of C. So one times three is three. And then it also said they're going to sell two units of A for every unit of B. So 2 times 3 is 6. And I cannot tell you what a wonderful favor they have done for you here. This is just so nice, I can't even tell you. Notice that these figures add up to 10. And now we're going to get crazy. We're going to go through and add a 0 to them all. And we're going to convert this into a percentage. Yep, that's what we're going to do. 
Now, what we need to do next, let's see here, I bet I screwed this up. Let's see. Yeah, give me a second here. All right. So notice that they've given us these contribution margins. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read these backwards because that's how our paper is set up. Five, three, and two. Okay, you got that? Five dollar contribution margin, uh, unit contribution margin for product C, three dollars for B, and two dollars for A. All right. So let's go back over here. This time I'll be smart enough to just move the paper. And that was five, three, and two. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this out. So, 10% times five is equal to 50 cents. And then let's see here now. 30% times 3 is going to be equal to uh, 90 cents. And then 60% times 2 is $1.20. And then we're going to use a process called addition. And we're going to add these three figures up. And we're going to come up with $2.60. And that is our weighted, weighted uh, unit contribution margin. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. Now I can't remember how much our fixed costs were. I think it was 143,000. There it is, 143,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 143,000 and we're going to divide it by this $2.60 right here. And that is not going to provide us with our answer. Now let's see, where'd the calculator go? There it is. That's not the answer. Let's make that a little bit smaller and then move it right here. Okay, so $143,000 in fixed cost, 143, uh-huh, divided by 2.6 equals 55,000. $55,000. However, what they want? They wanted product A. So now what we have to do is we have to multiply our 55,000 by 0.6. And I believe if we do that, we're going to come up with $33,000. There it is. Go ahead and circle this. Sounds right. Looks good. We'll find out if it's right, though. Okay. So 33,000, it's wrong, I have to record the re-record the video, right? All right, let's check it out. And we got it right. Whew, didn't want to do that one again. All right, very good. Well, I think we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, say sayonara to this video.